previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Oh. This is the tea of this virus. We are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. So I think these two guys, the guy in the glasses there that was reacted to that, um, I think in one of these episodes, either this one or the next one, I think we play as him and the other guy with the tattoos that was like his buddy. Um, so they're like two desk nerds that get sent out in the field. Oh yeah, we met Rachel. I do not know why Ross has a crush on her. I'm guessing the two right hands come in hand. <laughs> come in handy. Two right hands. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I ruin all my jokes. Um, does that drink of Pepsi count as you saying asking? No, it does not count. If me answering the question doesn't count as asking it, so if you want, it could be a draw, but I'll let you ask if you still want to ask. Episode five: Secrets Uncovered. Oh yeah, so we are playing as the two guys. You can tell by the music; it's a little bit more like comical. This is Forkball. Good job. Get the lay of the surroundings and continue with your mission. His codename's Jackass. So, uh, how do you want us to proceed, O'Brien? Up to you. Do what you think is best. What took you two so long? At least we're here. What's up with Beltra? Not sure. We haven't found a thing. No clues, nothing. So now what? I like this music. It, it actually kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 3 and 4 had like kind of some a couple upbeat tunes like this. Wait, we haven't received authorization yet. It's all right. We're on it. And then it changes into something more somber. If you need someone to sniff something out, ain't no one better than my boy here. Hey, I'm right here, grinder. So, you follow Jessica home. You know where she lives now? Almost. I had her until the very end, but I lost her near the... Hey! You think I'm a stalker, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Come on. Let's go. Still gotta ask. No days off. I'll take a draw, but how's the Pepsi, Zeke? <laughs> the Pepsi's good. Draw it is. Um, so, our friend Jackass here, he has a little bit of a crush on Jessica. Feels like um, something's gonna jump out. Watch your footsteps. Oh wow, I aimed right at it. I was like, yeah, is there know. something over here? And it <laughs> wow, that was luck. Alright. So this level is pretty neat. You're basically going into that Veltro base that uh, Chris and Jessica were about to head into. Oh. Shh. Weren't you the one who said to stay quiet? Well, even Homer sometimes nods off, you know? That doesn't even make sense. Come on. Um, but yeah, so he has a little bit of a crush on her. But they, they're in the base that Chris and Jessica were going to go explore. So Chris and Jessica left a couple agents there to guard it, make sure no one went in. And, uh, and now we're heading in to investigate. As these two chuckleheads, as I like to call them. Wasn't there like a... Oh, come on. Over there, really? Now we gotta go back. Dag nabbit. Where is it? Oh, jeez. Oh, the screwdriver. What? Wow, like... What? That's like a, an important scan. <laughs> that we could have missed. Holy crap. I mean, if this screwdriver, if we have to use it as much as the one Jill's using, then... Then wow. Oh yeah, look. Right there. Dang. Our friend Jackass here. Amazing. <laughs> yep. Good old... Our good old friend Jackass. Yeah, I think we can't, yeah, we can't cross the streams. 
Yeah, that's. I think that's the key to that, is that the wires can't cross. All right. Dang. Anything else important? Like, really important that I have to scan? We might be able to open up that area that's been sealed off. Um, and again, to the people in the chat, thanks so much for hanging out and being here with us tonight. Feel free to jump in the chat if you want, or if you're in lurk mode because you're working, all good too. This is what I found from the security. I don't know if Joe after work will be able to jump in tonight though, because I think he's at New York Comic Con, so he's probably just, you know, having an awesome time. So I wouldn't expect if he jumped in, I'd be like, "What happened? Are you okay?" <laughs> oh wow, that's why that plane crashed, Hunters. Ooh. Timestamp places the crash at the same time as the one Chris reported. Is that in here? It's oh man, like that's that. embarrassing. A little, a little Pepsi cold, drop <laughs> hit me in the Damn eye. Quit. I'll switch the feed. <laughs> See where it goes. Pepsi's trying to kill me. We got a live in more ways than just drinking it. Hey, Whoa. What the hell was that? I told you to be quiet. So there's an invisible monster. Oh! Oh! There's something there. I don't know what, but we can't see it. Oh! 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 Yeah, Steve. Hey, did he just drop something? Oh, dang! This is definitely for mature viewing audiences. <laughs> That's some shocking footage there. One of the Vicks left it behind. What is it? That should have unlocked the door. Search for lost item. All right, so we got to find what that guy dropped. Great. He's taking some dope pics on her and in his Instagram. I can't wait to hear. Yeah, I actually texted him earlier and I said, "Dude, keep posting pictures on Instagram." <laughs> Cuz this is I think my second New York Comic Con I haven't been to. It's it's not as um it doesn't go it's not as old as San Diego Comic Con. Um I don't think, but the, the New York has changed a couple times and hey, I've been I went to like four three or four in a row um, a, Like two with Omar and then two before Omar and then I missed a year or two and then two years before that I went so um, I like New York Comic Con. It's a really great convention It's usually where I catch up on all my DC stuff because at San Diego Comic Con I get so overwhelmed I'll like go check out DC a little bit check out Marvel check out uh, um, Top Cow, Image, you know, IDW, all the independent companies, uh, and then I go hit Artist Alley for a little bit, and then I'll um, I'll go to like the movie side, the video game side. There's so much to do at New York Comic Con though. I pretty much focus on Artist Alley and DC Comics. Um, I like hanging out at those places at New York Comic Con. Uh, it looks like a piece of manifesto. Destiny and I do not mean to sound flippant. Is uh, Destiny, and I do not mean to sound flippant, is made before we even get a say and is the will of a higher power. The impure will not be cursed. It is their destiny to be torn apart by the fangs of the hounds. I cannot spare sympathy for the victims of this world. They are the ones who created it. It is the same world that robbed this dog of its bite. No longer will I howl. I will sharpen my fangs. No longer will I roar. I will sharpen my claws. All our comrades are waiting for the time when they may sacrifice themselves to the cause. Only the hounds are pure of purpose, and it is only they who may purge the world. We do not hunt alone. We hunt in packs. We are Veltro. Signed, Earl Brinvico. All right, Earl. Oh. Oh. Anything else hidden in here? Oh, it's a handprint. Boom. Man, look at all this ammo we can't pick up. Oh, security token. It's a security token. I can breach the master network of the plane's onboard computer if I can just extract the web key from this. John Lee says never gone to NYCC, so I'm just living vicariously through him. He's taking good picks. Now you're talking. 
What's his Instagram? Is it at Joe After Work? So if anyone's watching this and it's still, if, if somehow I upload these in a f timely manner, like I up the two we episodes we played earlier, they're already uploaded to YouTube. Um, I didn't really do a ton of editing on them. I just cut out the intro and the outro and just threw them up on, on uh, YouTube. So I might do that with these tonight before I go to bed. So if this happens to go up and you're watching on YouTube before Joe's back, check out Joe After Work's YouTube channel. His link's down in the descri description box. And also check out at Joe After Work on Instagram um, or his link to his YouTube channel's in my description box. Check out at Joe After Work on Instagram to check out his, his uh, pictures of New York Comic Con. All right, I think we're like a third through this level. I can't remember, maybe just a third. But we'll keep it moving. 1025, Bilge Passageway. And I like that they put the timestamps in there so you can keep track, because it's shifting location so much. It's good to see that this is all happening, you know, in a linear fashion for the most part. Minus the one year ago episode we did. Same username on Instagram, Joe Afterwork. Sweet. Cool. There's something to scan. And print. Where does this thing want want me scanning? So card reader again, which we don't have. Weird. It shows the thing to scan, but there's nothing to scan. It's crazy. All right, looks like we're going this way. Oh, great water. Maybe. I, I can't tell the plan right now. Like, I, I vaguely remember, like, all the ins and outs of this game from a story standpoint. Like, it's not super fresh in my mind. Um, so it's it's a little... I'm like... I, I'm still... I'm trying to figure things out. I'm like, I don't remember, like, what, it, what Veltro's master plan is, like, it, with this boat. Oh, you know what? We can do this. Since we don't have any machine gun ammo, we can switch for the sniper, and that way we have some sniper rounds. Up stopping power by 100%. Yes, please. Looks like a lever. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should push it or something. There is flooding in the bilge. The bulkheads cannot be lowered during a power outage. Power can be restored from the engine room. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? We gotta find the engine room. Okay. Fine. We'll do things your way, Jill. Oh, bullets. Yes. Yes. Make sure everything's loaded. More water. The water's getting higher. Come on, there's no time to lose. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
What was that? Oh, Jesus. Uh, whoa, whoa! I might have to let my partner take care of this thing. Yeah. Die. Stab to death. This one's a swimmer. Try to stay out of the water. Oh, we gotta kill it before oh I gotta scan it before it uh disappears. Oh wow. That thing's disgusting looking. Oh, hi there, ugly. I think we can just stab this thing over and over. Oh, this is awesome. We can just stab these things in the water, dude. No bullets necessary. Oh, I love it. Oh, sometimes it's just good to whip out your knife. Oh, that makes those things so much less frustrating to deal with. There's like some kind of glitch. I guess they weren't expecting anyone to try to stab them. <laughs> Restart device. Is that not what we want? Oh, hello. Are you a thing? Um, steam pipe maintenance report. To all maintenance staff, one of the covers came off the pipes in the bilge passageway, and now there's steam pouring out of it. The steam is scalding, so you'll have to do a little work around to get by it. In the engine room, there are two levers. Use the levers to match the needle on the meter to the proper letters. This will stop the steam from spilling out of the pipe. Um, the letters and corresponding locations are as follows. A is the maintenance room, B is the engine room upper level, and C is the uh, engine room lower level. Remember, if you stop the steam from leaking in one area, it will leak out of another. Keep this in mind when adjusting the needle and using the relevant areas. All right, so we we did good. We got to do that. Uh, what's all that over there? All right, this is where we reset the power. Nothing's working. Now see if I can figure this out, okay? All right. Go we'll try that control panel over there. No problem. I'm on it. Investigate the other panel. Ooh, parts. Map? All right. Nice. That'll make things a little easier. Nada? Okay. What's all this hubaloo? Whoa! It's great. Can't reload. <laughs> G. 
jeez. Oh, how do I get over there? Okay. Gee, you think? Ow. I wonder if I can stab these things. Let's try. Yeah. Take this, you dirty freaks. Yeah, come here. You like this? You like getting stabbed through a glitch in the game? Where'd it go? Come here, you. Are you done? There we go. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Saving ammo. I really do. I'm a big fan. Please be handgun ammo. Shotgun shells. Well, that's not bad either. Shock grenade? Whoa. What's down here? Bummer. Hey, Seek, how you been? What's up, Ninja Zombie? I'm well, dude. How are you? Oh, come on. Do your thing. Rifle ammo. Dang it. Uh, I'm good. Glitches be bitches. Oh, Glitch is helping us in this instance. All right, that's where we got to go. So let's go check out this area over here real quick. Um, Dude, good to see you, Ninja. I'm doing all right, my friend. Hope you're doing well, too. Oh, what's this? Oh, whoa! He dead. Let's, uh... Let's change... Let's change the handgun. We don't have any handgun bullets. So we'll... C I think the hand that handgun automatically goes into our inventory. So we're good. Like, it's it's okay to leave it there. Um, it should be in the next inventory box we go to. If not, we know where to come get it at. Although that would be a real pain in the butt if they made us do that. Bang. All right. I mean, it's either this or two handgun bullets. So I would say we're doing well if we if we just stick to this you you'd been doing good too ninja nice okay. I made it. it was like an axe no it's not an axe I don't know what that is oh. all right we got machine gun ammo case. We can take more of that. And we got a file to read. Memo left in the engine room. Timing is needed to restore power. Two keys must be used at the same time. Just in case I put the restart key, you know where. You up his butt. Know where I'm talking about? You don't? Jeez, you really need to get it in gear. Oh. Oh. There are no keys here. Oh, but we need... Shit. My guess is we have to start them both simultaneously. Then we really need that key. Search for the restart key. Yeah, we need to... We need to find the cog that goes into the, um... That thing out there. You know, the thingy cog. Hmm. 
Well, I'm glad you're doing well, man. Thanks for popping in tonight. What you been up to? Uh, how's work going? How's life? Shotgun. Guess we're just gonna run around this whole place and look for that stupid cog. Oh, we can't go that way now. S steam will stop us. Just good in general? Sweet. Let's see what this does. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's... Was there another area where steam's running? Nothing. I know there's a herb there, but we'll save it. I don't think we need it right now. Oh, dude, what? Oh, yeah, okay. This room. Sweet. Cog. Nice. Turn, turn, turn. I don't have my 3DS stylus or whatever. <laughs> Whew. Good. Let's see, like, I want that. How do I get that? Oh, jeez. Die, die, die. Where are you at, yo? Is there another one in here? Yeah, there is. Come here, you jerk. Oh, one stab? That's it? One pump chump. No good. Alright, so... Oh, that's not a fish. <laughs> Can I stand on this? No? Alright. I think the cog thing was this way. Uh, is this episodic Resident Evil? Yes, it is. Um, this is Resident Evil Revelations, and I think we're on episode 5. So it does treat it like a TV show in a way, where it's like, previously on Resident Evil... Um, so it kind of does do that. Here we go. Of course there's something inside. This is Resident Evil, after all. How do we get over there? Alright. Yes! Come here, dude! Where's the other one? one of them. I'm just scanning you, dude. I don't really need you. I'm ready to restart this baby. Get in position. Okay. Oh, good. There's not like a... I thought there was going to be like a puzzle of good as new. counting one, two, three, and then pressing A or X or something. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Oh, goody. We let the water in. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're running out of time. Damn it. Phew. It's not stopping. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. Oh, no. I played uh, the first episode partly. I didn't really get into it. Yeah, I would say this is... I mean, I don't know. It's. I guess this isn't a Resident Evil for a lot of people. It, I guess it depends on how much you like Resident Evil, which generation of Resident Evil you came in to. Um, but I don't want to speak in, you know, like a... Just to, like... Um, generalize either but i feel like uh like this to me when this came out felt more like resident evil than than resident evil 4 and 5 did although 4 is really good 4 does have like a nice resident evil tone to it um this felt a little bit more resident evil or what i look for in a resident evil game than maybe 5 did certainly more than 6 did so i kind of dug it on that level and the new elements they've added like the first person scanning and a couple of the other things i kind of dug it and i like the over the shoulder the only thing is the camera moves really fast so i have to take breaks sometimes because it gets really nauseating um but i do know from hardcore as evil fans too that they aren't a big fan of the revelation series as well there's a couple of people um, who aren't I so I, I i hear you on that one um you're not alone in that opinion either crashed. Um, I felt like this, no, this combined yet. like the, the direction the games were going in with like terrorism being kind of the focus of, of how BOWs are used, good. and it's like okay, kind of that focus, and then also yeah, um, like still had long. new elements. So you're not fighting zombies, you're fighting these weird creatures that are zombie-like, and it, it, it kind of introduced new elements, like enough new elements to where I kind of dug it, but. But I understand why it's not most people's cup of tea. And the format's different, you know, the episodic format and stuff. Um, I like these two guys. They're, I mean, obviously they're the comic relief and they're not really that funny. Uh, but I do, I do kind of dig them a little bit. I guess that's why they call it the Midnight Sun. No, the Midnight Sun is Blade the Vampire Hunter, dude. Get with it. Um, because they're wolves and their heads are split open. What was it you said? Uh, oh, John Mike says, dude, uh, Ninja says, I think five and six are in game pass. Uh, what does that mean? Like, or like, what do you mean by that? Or in game pass. Yeah. Quit. Don't just leave me here. Yeah, dude. Jerk face. We gotta scan everything because we need uh, we need more health. Oh, they're on the Xbox Game Pass. Oh, I'm sorry. I got gotcha. you. They're on the Xbox Game Pass. Okay, I think I read that wrong. Um, gotcha. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's a good deal. Then what is that Game Pass? Like ten dollars a month? What you doing? I'd pay. You know, a dollar, I guess, to play Resident Evil 6. <laughs> uh, five, I kind of like. Five has grown on me. Whoa! Yo, calm down. What's wrong with you? Something... I don't know. It's like something hit me. What? Well, I just got hit. It was the Invisible Man or something. I'm sure of it. Yeah, he got, like, knocked really? out. Almost. He's a hunter. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Whoa! Did I mention it's closed? Just shoot it till it dies. How I... One day! Which leads us with... I can't tell because I can't see it. Oh, <laughs> dang! Oh, 
Boom! Whoa! We're like, su oh! Ow! Dude, come on, get my back, dude! Scan him! Dude, when they disappear, like, they straight up disappear. Like, they don't just go invisible, they just disappear. That ain't fair. <laughs> like, I'm literally shooting, 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 and then he went invisible, and then he's just gone. Like, my bullets aren't hitting anything. Anymore. Dang. 1062 after tax, which isn't bad. No, that's I'm telling you, man. The Game Pass is something I've considered too, um, just to have more games to play on the stream. Yeah, you're right. It's that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, on handling the new prototype, there will be a new prototype introduced on this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution when handling the special prototype. All instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. In the events of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the hazards and emergencies manual. Once the prototype's abilities have activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedative must be administered every hour during transport. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. When control is no longer viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. Oh my god, these people, like... Who, who gets on a plane with three hunters that can camouflage and goes, Yeah, we got this. Like, we got this. No, no problem, bro. Wasn't there like, there were six of them. There weren't even three of them, there were six of them. Ugh, those things kicked my butt. Oh man, one of you be an herb and the other one be 20 grenades, please. Oh, handgun ammo. Oh, machine gun ammo, that's good. All right, so can these guys, like, get into, um... Oh, no, we, we... As Chris, we were able to unlock that... That room, right? There was, like, a zombie in it or something? Yeah, there's a cockpit up there, yeah. So we, we, we were able to open it. But what about this? Ooh. Okay. Everything appears to be in working order. Yo, Quinn. Time to do your job. Here we go. Do you think, jackass? Mm, I can't find the call. Um, I forgot I had followed you on Twitch. I use Mixer more. Oh, that's cool, dude. Um, yeah, you know, I don't have a Mixer account, but I checked that out a little bit. Um, and what was the other one? Beam, which is like the, the Xbox one. But I haven't, um, I haven't like created an account on those. I was just kind of like checking them out. Um, I can kind of only handle one Good one work. streaming service at a time. <laughs> I pr I mean, I'm already like behind on friends' nice YouTube videos because I'm on Twitch so much. But the week I took off, I basically just was watching archived videos from some of my friends on here and watching YouTube videos to catch up. Um, so it was kind of nice to take the week off so that I could catch up on other people's streams. Oh, Beam is Mixer now. Oh, that's what it was. You're right. Beam is mixer now. That's right. Um, I watched the um, not E3 because I was at E3 thanks to Dead Eye Shots. Big shout out to Dead Eye Shots. Um, but um, there was some gaming show not too long ago that I watched through Mixer. Uh, the Xbox were like they were streaming through it or whatever. We're on our way. All right, so Chris is being sent in to save Jill Valentine. Thanks to those two knuckleheads. And that is the end of episode five. Holy crap, secrets uncovered. 
Uh, so yes, now Chris is on the way to go save his friend Jill Valentine, who is about to drown with Parker um, in their in the Queen Zenobia. So cliffhanger. We will come back with one more episode tonight. So if you're here live, don't go anywhere. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you come back for the next episode. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If we hit 500 followers on YouTube, uh, Twitch, I should say, um, I will dress as a nun and sing Sister Act 2 songs during one of my streams. And then uh, we are trying to reach 700 subscribers on YouTube. So I'll try to come up with something for that. Or maybe if we hit 700 there first, we'll do like a 500 slash 700 followers thing. Um, we'll just see how close they get together. If not, I'll do a separate celebration for 700. But uh, other than that, thank you guys for everything. See you in the next episode. I will uh, blah, 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 blah. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> uh, I screwed up that outro.